All right, the best Switch games of every year. Three, two, one, go. Two thousand and seventeen seems like an age ago now, doesn't it? It actually does. Ah, the Switch just launched. We had only just met. Oh, wow! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Judging my life on the Switch instead of by when I met Laura. Please. <laughs> Anyways, turns out this list was way harder to curate than we thought it was going to be. Because yeah. straight up, we got caught between two fantastic games. But we eventually decided on... Breath of the Wild. What else? <laughs> well, Mario Odyssey. That's what else. Breath of the Wild is Laura's favourite game of all time, right? Yeah, it is. So... I'm sure you saw it coming. So Breath of the Wild was completely innovative for the Zelda series and for the Switch in general or the trajectory that Nintendo was going with their system. It's totally open world, you can do whatever you want and you know, humans like freedom, obviously. That's what I figured out from Supernatural anyway. <laughs> Breath of the Wild was the perfect way to launch the Switch and we just couldn't go past it. Two thousand and eighteen made us realise that this list is a little bit unfair because there's so many fantastic indie games that released alongside these huge AAA budgets. So we're just going to make a second video about best indies of every year. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to uh, catch that next week or the week after. Two thousand and eighteen, though, at the very end of the year in December, we got possibly the greatest fighting game of all time. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. What do we say? Do you like Fire Emblem? Pokemon? Literally any Nintendo IP that has ever existed. Or other IPs like, I don't know, Minecraft or Sonic? This game is probably for you then. Honestly, even if you're not a fan of fighting games, just seeing like Pac-Man versus Steve. Yes, who doesn't want that? <laughs> It's pretty hard not to love Smash Brothers, and it's probably, it's definitely one of the best games on the Switch full stop, so we couldn't not pick it. It's been on many lists of ours. Best yeah. multiplayer games, best games full stop, best fighting games. You can't go past it. The amount of content is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's one of those games that you could just play forever. Yeah, it is. All of the years were honestly pretty hard to decide, but by far the hardest year was 2019. There was so many incredible games that came out that year. Dragon Quest XI, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Astral Chain. Astral Chain. There was something else really important and significant as well, but we actually chose something that may or may not surprise you. It's not the most well-known game. Dragon Quest Builders 2. <laughs> I love this game. It's like Minecraft, but it actually has story as well. So it gives you way more direction. I love Minecraft. So many people love Minecraft, but I do feel like- It's a bit pointless. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, yeah. what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? Yeah, what am I doing and why? But mm -hmm. Dragon Quest Builders 2, it just gives you the point the why. that you need. Gives exactly. You the why. This yeah. is why we're doing it. Imagine Minecraft with an RPG in it. Mm. That's what Dragon Quest Builders 2 is. We spent like combined Hundreds. at least 500 yeah. at least on this game. If not more. It's honestly. honestly one of our favorite games of all time. There's just not much more that you can want from a game. And it's so underrated it as is well. so underrated. This again is featured in many lists. Games we want sequels to, underrated games, best games. Like mm -hmm. this is both of our like top 10 game of all time. I would say that. Yeah, it might even crack my top five. Yeah. Like it's incredible and you should try it. If you haven't played Dragon Quest Builders 2, mm. just please do me this one solid. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like this is high enough praise. Like if it beats out all those other amazing games we got in 2019, then it must be worth something, right? It is, yeah. You should check it out, trust me. Hit that like button if you like Dragon oh. Quest Builders 2. Where are our Dragon Quest Builders 2 fans? Come on, man. Please. Gather around. <laughs> 2019. Okay, so I know that I just said that every year was a really hard decision, but I guess I kind of lied because looking back on 2020, the decision was obvious. There was but one best game 
on the Switch for 2020. Animal Crossing New Horizons. How can you go past this? This game defined the pandemic for so it many did. people. I look back on 2020 and don't think COVID, I think Animal Crossing. Yeah. In fact, the only game that I've played more than Dragon Quest Builders 2 ever is Animal Crossing. It is so addictive, so cute, so cozy. Man, this game pushed Switch sales through the roof as well. Yeah. Like it is a system seller for sure. Well, it's hard to like describe Animal Crossing or quantify why Animal Crossing is so good because on paper, it sounds like the most boring game ever. I was just saying that Minecraft kind of had no direction mm. and that's Animal Crossing as well. Mm. But it, there's just something about it. It's like Nintendo put some kind of witchcraft in the mix when they were creating Animal Crossing. <sighs> Great time, weren't they? What do you say? What do you say? It's just good. You just have to try it because if I explain it to you, you're going to be like, that sounds like the most boring thing that I've ever heard. And actually, that was me. Yeah. It took me months to buy it. I was like, nah, I don't want it. It, yeah. looks, it looks not like my thing. And then he saw how obsessed I was with it and he's like, okay, I'll try it. And he loved it. And that's my most played game of all time. That could be you. Yeah. That it, could be it you. Could be. Yep. I know it's a hefty amount of money to drop on a game you might not like, but you might just get like 400 hours worth of gameplay out of it. And that that's good value. value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two thousand and twenty-one, post-pandemic, kind of a little mm. bit stragglers going on. Everybody said that this year kind of sucked because the pandemic just like pushed everything around. But honestly, it was pretty fire. Still, this was still a really hard year to choose a best game from. It actually was. You know what the best thing about twenty twenty-one was? Us starting this channel. Oh. I'm pretty oh, sure that was the Actually, inception. I think you're right. Yeah. So there you go. Some kind of gaming. Best game? Nah. Not that <laughs> self-indulgent. <laughs> no, the one that we actually had to go for, for the best game in 2021, was Metroid Dread. It is an absolutely amazing game. It's pretty tough, but it's really satisfying. The performance is optimal. Honestly, it works like absolutely flawlessly on the Switch. Yeah, probably one of the best running games on the Switch. Mm -hmm. And look, I know it's just like a 2.5D side scroller Metroidvania thing. And you can pick up something like Hollow Knight for like half the price, if that. Yeah. But that's Metroid true. Dread really solidifies Metroid as the Metroidvania. Mm -hmm. There's a reason it's called a Metroidvania, and Dread is it, man. And don't let the people saying that it's really hard stop you because if I can play it, you can definitely play it. This was like Laura's Animal Crossing where she's like, nah, I don't want it. Not really my thing. Too hard. I was a bit intimidated, I'm yep. not gonna lie. But then, played it. And it's actually really good. You know, like the boss monsters are hard, but it's the kind of game where you just have to memorize the pattern. Yeah. Once you get the pattern down, it's fine. It's okay to die. <laughs> it's okay to not be okay. Yes. You don't have to tell anyone how many times you died. You just get to tell them at the end that you finished it. That you That's win. the main thing. Yeah. Don't worry about the rest. Metroid Prime 4 looks like it's uh, not coming to the Switch, and if it does, it's going to be cross-gen. So this is the Metroid game on the Nintendo Switch. We're slowly getting to now. Last year, 2022. This was actually easier because we just look back on our best games of 2022 video. Mm -hmm. And our top two was Pokemon. And honestly, we just couldn't no. in good faith give that the best game of last year no. because it's It's fun. not really like a great game though. Mm. Like if you look at it at a technical no. standpoint, it sucked balls. Real bad. So we can't, we can't. We the can't. game that we did give it to though, push the switch to its absolute limit. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Oh my God. If you were a fan of RPGs, you need to get on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Don't let the three intimidate you. You can start here, that's fine. Fantastic stories, characters that you connect with instantly, world building like no other, beautiful environments, exploration, 
fantastic battle system. I don't know what else you want in a game, man. There's pretty much all the boxes. Right? Tick, tick, yeah. tick, 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 tick. <laughs> pretty tick, much done. is. Definitely the best game of last year. And also, speaking of good value, this is like 150 hours if you want. So, 60 hours on a rush playthrough. Need I say more? <laughs> Need I say more? Xenoblade 3, get it. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. So I know that this year isn't over yet. There is a chance that something totally amazing may just be like pulled out of Nintendo's sleeve at any second. But I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that Tears of the Kingdom is the best game of 2023. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of other competitors for Game of the Year, but none of those are on the Switch exactly. in our opinion. So I know I was banging on about Breath of the Wild being the most amazing game before, and Tears of the Kingdom is just that plus more. I don't know how they made it better, but they made it better. They added new maps, new mechanics, more story. All of the boxes that Tom said that Xenoblade ticks, Tears of the Kingdom ticks. And, you know, it's also got some extra ones. Absolutely. Some Crafting extra boxes. mechanics. Yeah. Interactivity with the world. The freedom. Yeah, man, this thing kicks butt. So, Laura, you used to always say that Breath of the Wild was your favorite game of all time. Yeah. Has it changed? Well, honestly, before Tears of the Kingdom came yeah. out, I didn't think it was going to be better. I was just like, that's impossible. But yeah, no, it's it's my favorite game of all time. Damn. Done. There yeah. you go. The Switch's library is huge. There's something like over 10,000 games on the system now or something like that. Crazy. I don't know. I think I might just put pulling that number out of my butt. But anyways, a lot of games. That's the point. And picking just one for every year, I know we kind of shot through them, but man, we talked about this for hours we before did. recording this video. Arguing, there was some punching, Laura got a pitchfork. Yep, I did. I almost set him on fire. Yep, there was torches and everything. Yeah. I had to run away. But this was an extremely difficult list to curate. So. Don't crucify us if your favourite game wasn't here. Obviously, we've chosen some things that you probably wouldn't. Yeah. In fact, every single person's list is going to be different. That's right. In fact, our individual lists are they probably were different. different. Yeah. So we kind of just had to go, this is two people's opinion, not everyone's. Mm -hmm. But you should definitely do this same exercise and drop it in the comments below because it is really fun. It is really yeah. fun. It's an yeah. interesting idea to think about. And again, so many great games on the Switch. It might take you hours, but please give it a go. Mm. It's a good time. It is a good time. Don't forget to subscribe while you're completing your assignment down mm. below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.